Good evening to you. It's great to have you. Doug Dunbar here. Nicole's off tonight. The new school year, it has started. And while we've been dealing with brutal heat over this month, Making sure air conditioners are keeping classrooms cool is one issue that we've reported on, but our Alexis Wainwright tonight starting us off with concerns about keeping our kids as cool as possible on school buses. As the sweltering heat continues, and this heat today, you can't do that with these kids. Parents like Lilla McGowan are now voicing concerns about their children dealing with the heat. I have six kids. And I don't necessarily use the school buses for this reason, <laughs> because I need to ensure that when my children get to school, that they have, you know, their mind is on what they need to do. This is after Dallas ISD confirmed some students are dealing with, quote, less than desirable conditions on buses. Well, it's crazy to think that they're trying to make us responsible for the kids and how they're being taken care of in the bus. Fernando Hasso is speaking for his mother, who speaks only Spanish. He says they've heard his sibling complain about it. And then it's too hot, and they have to be walking around, and it's just concerning. In a statement the district posted on social media, it says, quote, students may experience conditions on our buses that are less than desirable even while our air condition is working. And ask parents to work with them by sending their kids on the bus with water bottles or sports bottles to help with hydration. Getting up in the morning, getting the kids ready, making sure they have their water. It's just one more thing that is on the parents when the school needs to really pick that up. We did reach out to Dallas ISD and other local school districts to figure out how exactly the cooling process works on the buses. We also asked how many students is this affecting, but we're still waiting to hear back. In Dallas, Alexis Wainwright, CBS News, Texas.